Hey everyone, it's me Joey and tonight I wanted to walk you guys through how to apply for a John Muir Trail permit uh, through the reservation.gov rolling lottery. Um, I decided to do this because, well, we got accepted. Um, <laughs> we won one of the lottery permits for the John Muir Trail. Um, it was a bit of a process. We had a lot of confusion. Um, we applied for the wrong trailhead at one point and had to like change our reservations. So um, I had really, I was, we were looking around and we followed several blogs, which were helpful, but I figured I would just walk you through. I'm going to record my screen and show you um, exactly what to do so that you guys have a little bit of a better time knowing that you're doing it correctly, um, or at least, you know, giving it a good try. Um, and I wish you all luck. but. Let's start. Um, I'm going to record my screen here and I will use that in the video so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, okay, so to start, we're going to do a John Muir Trail Reservation Google search. And I'm just going to scroll down to the recreation.gov. Yosemite National Park Wilderness Permits. I should say that this is for a southbound John Muir Trail um, permit starting in Yosemite National Park and going to Mount Whitney. Um, so you're going to come to this page on recreation.gov. Um, I do, I, I will say you should probably read this stuff um, just so that you understand it a little bit better. Um, it's interesting because they do like this 26, 24 weeks in advance um, lottery. So whatever date you are looking to start, make sure you're applying 24 weeks in advance because you're going to be given some dates within that range and um, that will be your start date. So you'll need to know your start date, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, the typical start dates are starting early in June, is that's like an early start, or um, going all the way through August would be the kind of the later, well, no, I'm sorry, September would be the later, so um, trips. But click register on the right and you'll need to create an account. Um, I'm going to create one here. Okay, so here we are. Um, we made it to the recreation.gov lottery registration. Um, it's showing you in the top left, June 11th through June 17th lottery. So those would be the available start dates for this week's lottery application. Um, you would fill in all of your contact information and then um, scroll down to these options and you can add an alternate permit holder. This would be anybody that you're hiking with um, if you wanted them to be able to have the permits as well. So if something were to happen and you couldn't go, they can hold the permit um, under their names. But uh, once you get down here, we're going to I don't know, start with one date, enter choice number one, and this is the confusing and important part. So we're going to do a date range. First date available within um, will be the, the entire week, okay? And for the John Muir Trail southbound starting here, you can only select Donahue Pass eligible trailheads. So Happy Isles is the traditional John Muir Trail. Um, this That's the trailhead you'd start at. Going to past Little Yosemite Valley, Valley. And this says Donahue Pass eligible, meaning that you can go through Donahue Pass out of the park. Um, that is a necessity for the John Muir Trail. Um, First date available within this week, you would select all seven days, and your group size would be however many people are coming with you. The only other choice, which we'll do exactly the same, but we're going to come down here to Lyle, Lyle Canyon, Donahue Pass eligible. That would be the only other choice. Now, Lyle Canyon is a little bit further into the park. Um, you would miss Half Dome. This would not include Half Dome eligible um, 
itinerary. So uh, it's the less popular option, but you're more likely to get it. Um, and this is the one that we got. So um, we're going to continue trying to to get Happy Isle because obviously, um, you know, that's, tr that's the traditional trail and we would like to do that and we'd like to hike Half Dome as well on a little side trip. So um, we're gonna try again for Happy Isles, but we do have Lyle Canyon uh, and you know, if we can't get Happy Isle, we will do that and it'll be a great time. But uh, yeah, that's all you can really do. There are no other as far as I know, I'm pretty sure those are the only two, yeah. Some will say no Donahue Pass, and that, that is um, that is something that, like, you know, that's a, in the past, you were able to come in through different trailheads and meet up with the trail, but that's just not allowed anymore. So they're trying to really limit how many hikers are doing the John Muir Trail um, through Yosemite, and so, unfortunately, you have to choose one of the Donahue Pass eligible trailheads, which is only two this year, making it even more competitive. Um, your best chance is to select the date range of the entire week that this lottery is for and hope that one of those dates will be selected for you in that lottery. Um, one other thing you could do just to allow yourself um, the opportunity to maybe pick up a permit is you could put in one of these other ones um, so like I don't know for example like Lyle no Donahue Pass and do like that entry do whatever entry date you're thinking like date range doesn't matter um, and then if you were to get that you would just need to call in on the following Friday and ask to change it to a Donahue Pass eligible permit if there are any available. And this is actually how we got ours. We accidentally selected um, one of the other, I think it was Happy Isle to Little Yosemite Valley, no Donahue Pass. We had selected that by accident. And um, we were granted, I think we were granted that one. When we called on Friday, you have to accept the permit within, I think it's like 48 hours or 72 hours or something. Uh, we called the following Friday, accepted it. You do pay the $10, which is on the right in the screen over there. Um, and then we called to change it. And they the Happy Isle one was walk up only. So we asked about the Lyle Canyon, Donahue Pass eligible, and they granted us one. Um, there was, I think there were two available or something. Um, so that is one option you could do. Um, it's, you know, it's not going to like up your chances or anything necessarily. It's just like if someone were to back out during that week, you could either call or you could ask to change a non eligible for Donahue Pass permit to one that is eligible. So that is basically the gist of it. Um, and those, those were the harder parts to navigate because it was confusing seeing like people in the past taking other trailheads and um, meeting up with the JMT but you're not able to do that anymore you have to have a Donahue Pass permit um, I believe you know you can still hike Half Dome if you get Happy Isle but yeah some things have changed so I hope this was helpful um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments um, if there's anything that I noticed that I missed, I'll try to describe it in the video um, or the description. And good luck. I hope to see some of you out on the JMT in uh, 2023. So, yeah.